frustrating. Frustrating, I don't think. We started the game quite well. Get the penalty, disappointing. We don't we don't take the lead from the two penalties. That was a wee bit disappointing, but that's football. But we managed to get the lead, so we take the lead one now and then I don't, I don't know, I just I think they actually got a wee bit of a boost from the double penalty save. They kind of spurred them into action and we got spooked a little bit, I felt. A wee bit erratic, we were only composed. But anyway, we take the lead and then, I don't know, I just... The wide area, Dylan heads the ball inside, which is a really, really bad decision. Then Stephen Kelly tracks it, gives away a foul. But it's actually a no bad foul, to be fair. I was quite happy. But from that angle and how far out it was, it wasn't going to be a shot. It was fairly central. You know they're going to shift the angle, so we don't deal with that well, which was disappointing, and we don't deal with the ball in the box. I think it's gossip maybe gets on the first contact, Van Veen scores, is that right? Something along the line. So disappointing to lose a goal in that manner. Um, we weren't quite ourselves today. I think we got caught between trying to play and trying not to play, and I just think the game might have well done the basics better than us today, in terms of the spun it. They put it in behind, they made us defend, they didn't they, did they really try and play? I'm not really sure. But they asked questions of us. I think the park was like an ice rink today. It was playable but it was very, very cold and the surface was really, really quick. And that was a, actually a Motherwell player that said it coming down the tunnel. The park was like an ice rink. So I think their game plan today was most of the day was just turn it and I think we made some critical errors. Some Bad decision making when they did spin it in behind and when they did ask questions of us defensively in terms of simple balls. I think we were letting balls drop, then we were heading them out for throw ins, then they were getting the throw in, then they suddenly got a corner. And it came for us no making good decisions in the final uh, our defensive third, to be fair. You've touched on it yourself, but again, missed penalty, two missed penalties this afternoon. What do you do as a manager when, when it just seems the luck's going against you for the spot? Put my boots on. Um, We've actually been working on it in training. I could come out in top, 10 out of 10. Put a wee bit of pressure on them. They actually, I'll tell you what I've done. Done five, so we've done two, there was about seven, seven of them involved. Hit five pens, and the top top two stayed out if you hit five and four, whatever. So if you never, I think if you never scored four, you went in. Nicky hit five out of five. Then for the next five, you had to tell the keeper where you were putting it. And he still put it, he still scored. So. I don't think we can do much more, I think we'll maybe talk about it, but I don't think there's a lot more you can do. Right? I think it's you just it's just one of the things, but we've missed some big penalties this year, which is hugely disappointing because it's affected us in games in terms of points and in terms of position in the table. So there's not really a lot I can do about it, Dave, if I'm honest. And again, I'm a big believer in a, I don't sometimes like designating penalty takers, albeit I have done. Sometimes I think you've got to see who's confident on the day they're going to take the penalty, but it swings and roundabouts if you do it that way and they miss. So I'm okay with the situation, albeit we have got to we have got to do better collectively. First goal for the club for Morgan Boys um, coming from a set piece again. Something been really good at so far this season. Must be pleasing to see that kind of coming off in games when it's worked so hard yeah, on the training. I think Big Morgan's took his opportunity. I think he's done quite well. Fitzy presented the opportunity through injury rather than lack of form because I think Fitzy's been playing well as well. So I'm a great believer and I think he's known me well enough by now. There's a way in the team and there's a way out of the team. Now I will change it in certain situations when you've got midweek games and stuff like that and depending on who you're playing. But in general, on a week-to-week -week basis, I like the boys to earn, earn, the, earn the shirt, so to speak. And Fitzy got a, a knock, missed out, and I think Morgan came in and done really well. And done, I think Morgan done okay today as well. But I think collectively as a back four, we've got to, got to clear our lines a little bit better than what we have done today. I think as a midfield three, we've got to go up and setting balls a little bit better. Um, and as a front three, we've got, probably got to get after balls in the final third a little bit better. But I'm sitting here and I'm probably frustrated and a little bit disappointed. But we're sitting in the top six like after today, so can you really be ultra critical of the players? We can't expect to win every game of football we play just because we're at home. You can't expect to just win every game of football with a decent performance. Um, so, picked up a point today, frustrated, disappointed, 100%. Um, but again, I've seen us lose these games, Dave. I've seen us come here against Ross County and absolutely... 
battle them for large portions of the game and lose the game one 0 So we've came away with a point. We've moved our place up the table. Um, I'm probably hoping, fingers crossed, fingers crossed that Curtis Guthrie and Big um, Joel will be back soon. I think, if I'm being really honest, I think we've been a wee bit light in the final third over the last couple of games since Joel's since the, the, the winter break. Basically, I think we've been a wee bit light in the final third. In terms of, we're okay with the boys at start, but there's no real opportunity to change the game. And then you lose Scott Pittman and Holty today, and especially wee pits. That game is made for wee pits. Um, his midfield running gives you that extra offensive player. So we lost wee pits, Holty, Joel and Curtis, who are four big players for us. It was nice to see um, Shamal make his return, because that's a... He's a big player for us, and albeit I think Ivan's done fairly well. I must I must say that I think Ivan's done fairly well, but Shamal's were number one, and I think I think he done extremely well. So it was nice to see him get through the full game today. A debut from the bench for Stephen Bradley as well. Were you content with what you've seen from him in the second half? Yeah, very much what I knew he was going to give us, to be honest. And it's probably how do you put it, a wee bit more old-fashioned the type of football today. But, <laughs> Was there really a lot of football played at times? Probably not. So you're up on seconds, you're trying to win the flick ons, you're chasing balls into channels. It's just probably no Stevens game. But do you know what? I thought he'd done really well today. On and off the ball, I thought he'd done really well. So that was pleasing. Really, really nice to see him kick on because I've seen it in numerous occasions. Players come in and trial, they do okay, sign the contract, and then where's that player went? Um, but it's nice to see him carry that form in because he'd done it and he was away in Turkey with his and I've seen something similar and he's had a fantastic shot early doors in the second half um, so he'll bring us a wee bit more of a, a threat in the final third as well so nah I was happy really happy with his debut Trip to the Highlands on Saturday night to go and play Ross County another team in that kind of group 4th to 12th big chance to go and try and pick up three points get back to winning ways yeah of course it is but I spoke to the boys I think we've got four games right including today's game and at that point in time three are against the bottom three You've got to remember, like, they're fighting for their lives as well. So the style of play can at times go out the window, and I don't mean that detrimental to any team. They've got to find a way to win a game of football. So it probably turns it back into a wee bit more old-fashioned in terms of the style of play. It's bang it forward, spin it in channels, get after it, pick up second balls, put your tackles in the basics. But you probably find sometimes these games are actually harder to play in and what it is when you're playing against teams that are probably in the top half of the league. Lastly, the club announced during the week that the governing body endorsement for Luigi De Lucas has been approved. Where are we that? When are we likely to see Luigi playing for the club? Um, it's a home office part that I can't really comment on. So he's got his, his flies in on Wednesday. He's got his English language test on Wednesday, which his, lang his English language is spot on. So we've not got a problem with that one. And then he's got his home office interview on the 10th, I think. So you need to do your English language test before you can get your home office interview. It's a fast track procedure. So I don't know, Dave, it could be two, three days or it could be a week. I don't know, a week to two weeks. So I don't really know, but we've got the, we've got the clearance to bring him into the country and that's the main thing. So I would like to say a couple of days after the 10th, potentially, but again, it's in the home office hands. I don't really know.